spawn FCGI. Where? Yeah. What is that again? This to spawn the CGIP. Oh yeah, okay, for your CGI server. Yeah, and you run Tor. Not just the CGIP. I also have spawning my own for my own Tor. Like the you see red, this red, this uh written on C CGI script. Cool. <laughs> can you show the source easily or not? Can can. Why don't you just use HTML, man? Or no, static because static generated to HTML. But this is if you are on Tor, it will be green. Then how do I know if you are on Tor? I check it through the back end. Oh, what is the PC JavaScript? No, this is CSS. Oh, you you check through a C API if you're on Tor. Yeah, is what you say. Can't you just do that by looking at the referrer or something like that? Like because the referrer. Yeah, I check. I check the. I check the origin. I check the origin address. address, right? I just check the origin address. Yeah, you can do that in JavaScript, I think. It just checks through all the lines, and all. Yeah, it just checks so through all the lines. You, okay, you write C, which is great. Did you read a lot of the Suckless source code? Do you, are you familiar with Anselm's style and things like that? Would you say this is Suckless style? I can't really tell. Can't really tell. Um, Maybe I need someone to comment. You got no one to review your code, I guess. No, no one. That's a big, powerful thing for learning, which even I lack myself. Do you use tools like Electric Fence and other compilers besides GCC and other tooling? Electric Fence? Why is that? It detects memory leaks and race conditions, I think. Electric Fence? Yeah. You just, if I remember correctly, it's quite cool because uh, you, you just link it into, you, you add it as a as a like a link dependency or something in, when you compile the thing. No, huh? and then it and when when you have a, a, a memory leak or something it will tell you i think it's no, called electric I fence Wait, I, I can't remember anyway no, uh, no, i was no. wondering how familiar uh, do you use a uh, gcc or do you use like clang or whatever i use called? gcc here i always use gcc but i think clang has more error messages you know it's better linting no no? Okay. I feel fine. like no, they say GCC is more stable and mature. And it's better. What does this do? It's What are you doing? You're just typing. Yeah. I switched the keyboard I just say. <laughs> That's the, okay, fine, whatever. Um you run some services on your Pi. Um so that's it, right? That's your whole environment. Are you curious about my environment? Not really. I'm running pretty much the defaults, and you don't like my font. Too big. <laughs> I feel like it's too big, the font. Oh, I yeah. use Chromium. Why you use Chromium? Should you use Firefox? I like uh, DevTools so much. Do you really actually use Firefox's DevTools? Yeah, I use Firefox DevTools for development. It's like almost all people in the team use Firefox. In your in your university, right? Yeah. <coughs> really, but DevTools is so much better, isn't it? DevTools, Firefox is better. I like the one Firefox. Have you ever even used Chrome? I use Chrome, but I don't like the environment and it's slow. So you'd say Quantum's faster. Quantum is faster. No, from my perspective, I feel like Quantum is faster. And Firefox, they have something called the... What is that called? Cross, yeah. Cross everywhere. Sometimes when during development, I need to disable the cross, I just disable this. Yeah, Chrome, Chrome cross everywhere is uh, very weird. I can't get it working. I use Caddy to proxy things all the time. But we don't get a server for development there. So that's why we only have to get Lambdas. We do development Lambdas. Okay. Oh, so you're using AWS or, or you using Google Cl Cloud or something? You're using AWS. AWS, or AWS Lambda. So sometimes I deploy with Zappa, Chalice. Oh, you don't use Apex, the one I recommended you. I think last time I tried, but it doesn't work on Python three, so I don't care about that. So I just ignore. Oh, it works <laughs> on Python three for sure. Last time I checked, it doesn't support Python three, and the syntax they changed quite a bit. Let me double check that. But we need to put it in, uh, into CI CD so I can so I can't just deploy locally. So Python three point four, man. But I need to deploy from CI CD, yeah. Not a problem. What do you 
mean? Deploy from B bucket pipeline. You can't deploy locally. Sure, sure, but you can. I don't know. I have. I use Travis. You can look at my Travis, and you can. You know, I. Can see. Do you yeah. Why do you need class for this? <laughs> and use two spaces. Why two spaces? This is not my code. With with um Python out of interest, do you use a structured logging? To Python. Log to, do you log? Do you log as JSON? No, I don't log as JSON. I really like the stru structured logging that I get when I use my GoLang environment. Because you can you can you can like uh you can query like. You can do Oh, like, you mean use JQ? You can, it's you can pretty much use yeah, JSON, whatever. Not info. Oh, right. okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, you can use JQ. Okay, this is probably a better example. I can just see all the errors here. It's really good when you're debugging stuff. It is really good. I can even yeah I can I can see I can I can filter for for stuff which took a long time like with a long duration or something. Oh, I've never seen this something new. So in, <laughs> in CloudWatch, simply you see. Um, no, but during you, for our see, development, we don't get CloudWatch. We don't have CloudWatch access for development. Huh? But Lambda logs I know, mandatorily but, to CloudWatch. You need to. I know, look but at we don't have access to CloudWatch for yeah. development. That's how? right. Yeah, that's right. How? Dude, how? You set that up like that. You got to complain, dude. How do you know what your code is doing in production? A, a big part of of programming is not just. Yeah, that's why you need to test. That's why we don't get card wash access. Sometimes we need to ask, and he will give us his laptop to test for card wash. But why that's fine. He, why doesn't he give you read only card wash access? It's oh. bizarre. Shh, Charlie, Charlie, we're busy here. Okay, it's broken. We'll fix it later, Charlie. Daddy, work, work. Love you. Um, oh, so okay, you use GitHub, right? What do you use at work? GitHub or something else? No, it's Bitbucket. Bitbucket. Uh, let's say Bitbucket. Bit, does Bitbucket even have a local CDN? Probably painfully slow, like GitLab. Is no, it Bitbucket slow? is slow. It's very slow, but I don't care. Yeah, it's not. There's no choice. There's only Bitbucket that we use. So are you? So that's you are open computer source. science right now. Yeah, computer science, especially and, and, in data and, and, analytics. And you're working also at the school. Yes. What is the other thing you said? Analytics. Specialism in data analytics. Study oh. computer science. Specialism in data analytics. But they teach the bad one, like says, like oh. Don't you? Are you enjoying university, or do you find it a little bit boring? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, yes, the but in the workplace, we even open source the some source code that we do. Oh, that's nice. I. To be honest, I've got to the. That's one reason why I'm working for someone is that they're prepared to open source everything because I just don't like working on closed source programs. So the stuff I'm working on is all open source actually. If you bother to look at it, 